get this go back, 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 back. I've been getting harassed and bullied by some false accusers who are accusing me of doing disgusting things, and they even set up a fake little girl account on YouTube to try and bait me, but it didn't work because you know what, I'm not who they think they are, and yeah. What's up everybody, Salvaro here, and welcome to another animation meme reaction. Are you a cool cat? Are you a fan of Solvaro Reacts? If so, get yourself a Cool Cat shirt today. Made by fans, for fans. Merch link in the description. If you all want to join it, it will be in the invite link in the description down below. In the server, we can chat together. You can all chat with me or just chat amongst yourself about cat character animation. Oh, shit! That's kind of small. What's up, people? Uh, first off, I know I haven't posted in a long-ass time, so if you want to hear more about that, just skip to the end. But for now, we have more important matters. Matters pertaining to an actually dangerous person. This isn't going to be like one of my normal content clops, where it's just poking fun at someone, and uh, it's all, yeah, it's just all in good fun. This isn't one of those. This is a serious video that's meant to let people know about this person so that you can avoid them, and know of all the crap that they've done. Now I know this is coming out of nowhere in that I, sh I shouldn't be making videos this serious on a freaking pony reaction channel, but this is by far the biggest outreach I have, the biggest platform, and I want people to know about it because they deserve to know about this person. This person, as they're known right now, is called Solvaro, but has previously gone by Music Hooves and uh, Courageous Chris. He uh, is a reaction channel like mine, Except he's dog shit. For the past few years, me and my friends have all just been monitoring this person and just collecting every bit, every detail of their just disgusting shit. I'm gonna go into more specific details and provide proof as well of this accusation, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna just go over the general gist of what this person is. First of all, they are borderline pedophilic. And now I say borderline because I don't have legit proof of sexual contact with an underage person, but once you see the shit in this video, like, it's just so creepy, so wrong, so disgusting, and he continues to do it to this day, nonstop. And going beyond the pedophilic tendencies, uh, he's also very homophobic, uh, going so far as to say that he hates gay people. He, uh, uh, just other general horrible shit that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have in the screenshots and stories. Uh, yeah. He also has very disgusting, very disturbing fetishes that he tries to persuade underage fans to partake in. And now, I know you shouldn't judge someone's fetish and all that stuff, but when it's this just gross and he's trying to force it onto other people, that's just so fucked up. I hate him, he's disgusting. Now, you remember when I said that he's known as Solvaro now, but used to be known as Music Hooves and Courageous Chris or whatever? That's because he always changes his fucking account and aliases. He's had so many different Twitters that I'm going to show a lot of evidence from that are deleted. He has fucking YouTube channel that he deleted. Um, and uh, he just... Whenever he takes a little bit of criticism, whenever stuff starts to not go wrong, well, so whenever stuff does start to go wrong, he just starts from scratch, just tries a whole new venture, as you could say. Like, at the height of his powers, I think he might have had, like, a lot of subs. Uh, I'm not sure the exact number, but not more than me, but still, uh, more than he should ever have. And uh, when they started getting dislikes because people were noticing how shit his reactions were and how creepy he was... They started getting dislikes all the time, and he goes, well, People are disliking my videos. Oh no, it must be on them. I'm starting over. And he deletes his channel, and <laughs> he starts a whole new one doing the exact same fucking thing. Then he deletes that one, and uh, he tries out Courageous Chris, where he watches like more mainstream videos for his reactions, and now he's doing Solvaro, where He's apparently now a furry, and a f I don't have anything as furries. Like, I don't, obviously. But that's his new venture, 
and he's trying to embrace that as his new identity and, of course, continue to talk to underage fans and groom them. All right, to start off with uh, showing you some of the stuff this guy does, um, I'm just going to look at a screen cap of a DM that he had with a, of course, underage fan. And uh, this fan, he sent... Uh, okay, I'll just tell you his fetish now. It's uh, diapers and uh, shit and piss in the diapers. So, yeah. Uh, he sent... Oh God, I have photos of him in soiled diapers that I will put on the screen in about maybe 10 seconds. So, no more than that, but... If you don't want to see this disgusting crap or you're underage, look away. Don't look at these fucking photos. Just skip by them. I'm going to show them really fast. I have two of them. I know these are the pics that this fan is talking about. So here they are. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And uh, this is a conversation he had with an underage fan right now. Uh... The fan says, yeah, but many consider it to be, and he says, of course, anyway, I'm not a pedo. I'm not that bad, you would agree? Then, I mean, I know you're not a pedo, but sending the pics was a no-no, and if people knew, they consider you to be one. And look what this fucker says. It's not really a pedo act because minors search adult diapers all the time? A pedo would send a nude pic or ask for those pics of minors. And some people blow things way out of proportion. Like, yeah, I, it's just blown way out of proportion, sending you shitting in a diaper to an underage fan. Uh, yeah, that's just so blown out of proportion. Like, it's just so blown out of proportion. And this is going to be another uh, screen cap of a DM, where this one, he's literally admitting what he's doing could get him in trouble and is illegal. So uh, this is as follows. So he, of course, got... Uh, in contact with an underage fan, and this was in one of his old servers. Uh, another uh, YouTuber, he was in contact with this minor who said that they were uncomfortable, and so they talked to him, and that's how they got this DM. But uh, through grooming and manipulation of his fans, he uh, got them to engage in picture trading with him, and uh, this is what happened. So the fan says, nice, do you want to see some pics? And he says, of what? And you know, the fan says, me wearing, which is what I assume to be a diaper. And he says, um, okay, but I'll have to delete them afterwards. I don't want to get into any troubles. Literally acknowledging what he's doing is illegal. Then they say, I, right, and then you can send them, and then he'll delete them because he knows it's fucking illegal. And uh, then he goes on to start talking about fucking how it looks. I don't know. Uh, it's some bullshit, bro. Oh, and just so you know, these are the only, like, screen-capped evidence I have of these direct interactions, but he is involved with these underage people at all times. Like, the amount of times he talks with people that are, like, 12 or even younger is just weird. Like, here are some pics of in that old server where he is having a roll call of <laughs> the ages and uh, details about each of these fans, and look at these ages. Look at how young these people are and he continues to talk with them and have them follow him which in his old twitter which i'll show pics of later they get to stay up to see all of that stuff and uh, just overall he just talks about and hints at and uh just generally is in the vibe of s weird sexual shit with his underage fans for years like there's no reason there should be 10 year olds following this guy, looking at all his diaper fetish shit, and uh, potentially coming into contact with him when they're trying to get friggin' pics of them. And he has been engaged in e-roleplay, e e um, erotic roleplay with his fans. Like, that was a thing he did common, which I assume he still does do. And uh, he's roleplaying with fans that young? Uh, yeah, that's just, that's kind of sus, bro. Let's go through that old Twitter of his now, shall we? <laughs> uh, this is his Twitter. Um, this is the handle he had in the freaking bio. And uh, oh wow, here's a, a very poopy tiger. What well, now? What a good girl. Nope, not real poop. Uh, fucking. 
Halloween's coming up soon. Is there any other ABDLs or Littles that don't really like Halloween or spooky things? I really don't like the candy. Hellos, how are all my fellow pups and foals doing today? Like, just, just read this shit, bro. And here's some other stuff on his Twitter that his uh, fans could have potentially seen. Uh, the messy diapers, it's true, pain to clean afterwards. Uh, oh my... Uh, then he replies, yep, it does, because if you untape your diapy, just go number two on the yucky potty and then try to tape it back on. Won't stick well, and you... Oh my... Little baby full. He's literally... He's talking about foals and babies, okay? Yeah. This next picture, uh, it has a lot to look at. First of all, uh... There is the join the ABDL Bronies and Furries Discord server. Um, this is where that roll call came from with all those underage people. And uh, this is where some really creepy shit went down. Um, and also, there's a tweet about his brother disowning him because of evil things. And see, this is what he does. He acts like he's being witch hunted. Like, oh my god, people are always trying to bring me down. They're always giving me false accusations and lying and hacking and... Nah. He just has to be free and happy. This is what he does. He just ignores it. He feels like he has uh, people out to get him. So, end your suffering? Uh, yeah, I wish I could. Now let's get into some of the homophobic stuff that uh, he's been doing. So, here's a screen cap of a little DM conversation in Skype a few years ago. And uh, he will say constantly when this is brought up, because I tried joining his server and talking about it, but just banned just said it's lies. He said that uh, this is in his past and he's gone from his ultra-religious teachings, whatever that means. And uh, he says, God doesn't like gay people. It makes him sick. So you're gay, aren't you? No, wow, I thought you were because you act like you're gay. Yeah, gay people are stupid for thinking that being gay was okay in this world. God looks down upon them and frown and say, what I, did I do wrong? <laughs> So you're in support of abortion then? No, I'm not in support of abortion. Gay people are not born gay, and they know it. They choose to be gay because they think it's cool. <sighs> and then, you know, this is all being screen capped. He's against you in the video I'll be making. Now, this video is from someone else with a much lesser audience, but now I'm making the video with my audience. So, take that, music hooves. And here's just some more uh, pictures of him. Just being an ass, just uh, calling him a pussy, a bastard, um, trying to voice call him, and uh, all that sort of thing. <laughs> and here's, <laughs> here's a video that was sent to the person where we got the screen caps from of this conversation of, <laughs> of music hooves flipping him the bird uh, because, yeah... <laughs> <laughs> and just look at the fucking background, the rainbow dash with a guitar. Like, wow, dude, what are you doing? Just, just watch this video. <laughs> look how, first of all, look how disgusting this person looks. Uh, please put your shirt on uh, and ungrease your hair. I, I can tell all that shit, and you're in the dark, bro. Uh, second of all, um, <laughs> he looks like a real badass, don't you think? Uh, and also like a really nice person that 10-year-olds should be following so they can learn about how gays don't deserve to live in this world. Now, uh, the day I'm recording this is actually the day that uh, me and uh, all of our friends tried to raid his new Discord server, and uh, we started posting these images, and... Uh, we actually ended up turning a large part of the server against him, but uh, of course he was deleting and banning and all that sort of thing. I had to make an alternate account so I could direct message the mods of his server, and uh, I got in contact with one of them, and uh, yeah, they agreed that I should be making this video, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Try and stop his disgusting behavior. And now he's always going to say things like, I'm a changed person, uh... Those don't represent who I am, or just straight up deny it. Just be like, those are lies, they're hacking me, I'm not a pedo. And, uh, do, well, technically, you are not a pedo. I don't have any proof of you, um, 
sending nudes to underage people or engaging in sexual acts with underage people. But uh, let me just ask you how it sounds that uh, with fans as young as like 10 or something around that, you join a server and uh, there's ERP going on. There's pictures being sent of you with nothing but a diaper on. Uh, you're engaging in sexually suggestive conversations with these people. And uh, all this has been going on for years, on and off, even if you keep switching your fucking channel and Twitters and everything. Uh, all, how does that come off, bro? Like, you can't just keep denying it or whatever. Like, you gotta own up to your fucking mistakes. Okay? And I'm just letting people know who may come into contact with you that this is bullshit. And I bet he's gonna delete his channel again after I make this video. He's just gonna delete it, and he might try and restart. You never know. And uh, there'll probably be some new fans that don't know all this shit about him, and he'll get to prey on them too. But for in the small chance that someone sees this before they see his new account, I'm glad that I can stop them from following you. Uh, that's what this video's for. While I'm recording this, ooh, looky here at this screenshot. He's saying he wasn't music hooves, but uh, <clears throat> take a little looky at this. This is Music Hooves, and welcome to another Music Hooves Reacts. This time, I'm going to be reacting to Spies Among Us Animation. Or this, which is his official Facebook page <laughs> that he used for his reaction videos. Nice job keeping it up, you fucking idiot. Uh, so yeah, overall, uh, oh, and sorry for uh, the lack of the Fluttershy shirt. <clears throat> this is a uh, additional add-on recording, but uh, music hooves, uh, whoever, whatever you want to be fucking called now. Um, this is who he is, and you should avoid him before he makes another new account. And this message is directly to uh, music hooves or Chris. Uh, you should really get some help, bro. And uh, stop interacting with underage fans because you just got shit on harder than the shit you masturbate to in young people's diapers. So, yeah, go fuck yourself, you dumbass. Alright, and this is the message at the end to my fans about my upload schedule. Um, uh, I know, I'm fucking, I deserve you guys to be mad at me. Uh, I'm very inconsistent, as I found out. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole fucking life excuse thing, even though my life is hella busy. Uh, I just don't really have the drive to do videos as much anymore. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to be posting much at all, like, after this. Uh, I know that's sad for a lot of you, and I'm sorry. But uh, I'm glad I can just tell you now, because I've been putting it off for a while. And I know, Pony Bro's leaving again! Oh my god, fuck him! Uh, just, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> like... I'll still stick around, I may post a few more videos, but yeah, my upload schedule is really inconsistent and I apologize. But yeah, fuck music hooves.